okay. It's gonna be okay. Tell him it's gonna be fine. Jason's gonna wake up. Jason has um, suffered a previous head injury. We know his history. What's going on with him now? Because of his history, we're approaching this with as much care as possible. Oh, Patrick, even I know that's medical hedging. What are we dealing with? Severe head trauma, CAT scan. MRI? Ordered, but we can't see anything else. Can you try? I am not going to make any predictions until I see the scans. Once I can properly diagnose Jason, we'll move forward accordingly. Can we see him? Yes, but it's going to have to be brief. Carly. is your way of getting out of planning that wedding, you can forget it, because there's no way. I'm going through all those binders that Maxie gave us by myself. Jason, I've got this lug nut around my neck saying that we are in this together. From now on, no matter what, I'm sure the engagement ring that you picked out for me is beautiful. And when you told me how you found it, you knew it was for me. That made me so happy. Because you know me. Do you know how hard that is to come by? how anxious you are to put that ring on my finger, so you better hurry up and come back to me, okay? Do I need to be invisible? To you know, to be honest with you, no diamond in the world could mean as much to me as this. Because it stands for Joining two parts together forever. It's simple and strong. Just like us. Maybe it's a little hard sometimes to take. But I'll tell you something. It's a He's still out. I mean, there's really nothing you can do here. You should probably go get that wrist checked out. I'll get it checked out when I need to get it checked out. I want to see Jason, and I don't really care what you or Monica have to say about it. You to blame me for what happened. I was only hoping that Jason could help me find my little girl. It was an accident, Sam. You know, this wasn't my fault. Look, that's actually the furthest thing from my mind right now. It's not all about you, Carly. And I'm not really worried about assigning blame at the moment because it's really not going to change anything. I need to focus on staying strong for Jason so he can get through this, so we can walk down the aisle the way we were supposed to. You're going to be OK. I know how strong you are, and you've been through a lot more than this over the years. This time it's my fault, though. I'm so sorry that I dragged you out in that storm to help me find Jocelyn. And I wish I could say that it made a difference, but it didn't because she's still missing and I'm still terrified. Let's <sighs> see how much I rely on you. You're unconscious and you're still calming me down. Sam's right. I rely on you too much. You know, she asked me, why does it always have to be Jason? And it, you're all I have. You know, you're the only person that I can really count on. 
I know you love Sam, Jason, and I'm happy that you're going to marry her. Well, I'm happy that you're happy. I am. I just, um... Well, you need to know that I'm always going to need you. You know, I'm always going to be a part of your life. You're stuck with me. I just can't stand the thought that my needing you is what caused all this. I'm sorry, Carly. We're going to have to run more tests and ask you to leave. Right here. That's what I'm talking about. What do you think? I think the resolution of this new scanner is amazing. And the guy's in a lot of trouble. I hate seeing you like this. It brings back too many, too many painful memories. This family lost you once before. And you, you were our shining star. The best and, and, the, and the brightest of the Quartermains. Until you became the man you are today. Such a tragedy. All, all that potential. All that waste. But, but I, I never lost hope. And, and, I, and I never will. I really thought we were beginning to reconnect because of Michael. We need more time to, to, to be a family again. And I can't lose you for real this time. He'll come back. To all of us. Because hmm. he has to. He's finally promised to make an honest woman out of me. You're engaged? <laughs> yeah. We are. I'm sorry we haven't told you yet. We really haven't told many friends or, or family. Well, not that I'd be on that list anyway. No, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. Jason isn't as dismissive as you think. Come on, I don't think he would have encouraged Michael to go to ELQ. Hmm. I'm very happy for you, you know that. And, and, and Lila would be too. Thank you. I am going to take really good care of him. For you and for Lila. <laughs> Even though he's a pretty tough cookie to take care of. <laughs> you know, it's, it's sad, isn't it? That it would take something as horrible as this to bring me such wonderful news. Edward, how is he? He looks so, so peaceful. I haven't seen him like that in I don't know how long, when he was in pre-med. Mm -hmm. yeah. Asleep in his chair in the den, having studied half the night. God, I miss that boy. Oh, I'd give anything to have him back. Excuse me. I need a uh, family member to sign a legal document. I need to perform surgery on Jason. It needs to happen now. We discovered a mass at the base of Jason's frontal lobe. I'm not sure what it is yet. Is it a tumor? Let him finish, Carly. Edward, let me get you some water. All right, thank you. We're not sure if it's a tumor. But because of where it's located, it does need immediate attention. Dr. Hunter and I went over Jason's medical records, and we've determined that the mass postdates his previous head injury, but we're not sure if it's a result of what happened tonight. Because the head trauma, there's significant swelling. We want to get Jason into an OR, do a biopsy on the mass, see what we're dealing with. I have to warn you, there is risk involved. What kind of risks? The mass is in a tricky area. The uh, swelling doesn't make it any easier, but I am confident that I can get in and get the job done. Should you wait for the swelling to go down? 
Patrick knows what he's talking about, Carly. Yeah, and this is a family decision anyway. Yeah, Jason's like family to me. You'd like, but he is not your family. He's not your family either. Okay. Okay. This isn't okay. about okay. Okay. Why don't you either? Calm down. Oh, why don't we just calm down? Here, Carly, I think it's time for you to deal with the other family crisis that you have Fine. going on. Fine, can you right please now? keep me posted with whatever's yeah, going on? Yeah, you know on. what, I'll, I'll actually call you yeah, and keep you know. updated. Monica. I trust your judgment, Patrick. If you think that uh, exploratory procedure is necessary, then you should go ahead I with do. it. Oh, wait a minute, no, hold on. This all sounds a little bit too risky. Uh, shouldn't we wait until the swelling goes down? I mean, that is an option, right? Excuse me, Sam, you just told Carly this is about family. Yeah. Medical authorization is about family, and that's where you don't have any vote. <laughs> I'm his mother. I'm his fiance. You're what? Mm, no, they're engaged. I, I just found out about it myself. Uh, the, it's wonderful. Sorry, news. but I should have some kind of rights, and I want to exercise them. Okay, thank you. 